Hey gang, HK Booth, SHOT Show 2018. I got wind that this thing was over here yesterday and I beelined over here to get you guys a video. I've been waiting to see this thing firsthand. HK 433. I got Bjorn here from HK in Obendorf and he's gonna take us through some of the high points. My friend, take it away. Thank you, Larry, for doing this video. So we have here the new assault rifle from HK called HK 433. It's a 556 assault rifle that will be or should be the successor of the G36. Um, this rifle is a gas piston driven system like uh, the G36 or the HK416. I see it has a G3 style mag release, yeah. but, you, but what you were showing me earlier, you can still activate it with your trigger finger, correct? Yeah, correct, so you can, uh, we have a central mag release like on the G36, so it means you can take out the magazine with a non-shooting hand, but you also can, in case of the, magazine is empty and you have to do a quick magazine change, you can release the magazine well with your shooting index. Good deal. Ambi bolt release right here, both Correct. sides. Correct. So we have the bolt release or bolt catch on both sides. You can release the bolt uh, with your shooting index. Also on the right hand side as a right hand shooter or can block it in the back. Got it. Now charging handle, I see we went back to where it was located for the G3. Correct. So one of the biggest ergonomic points is the charging handle. The charging handle is like uh, positioned where it was on the uh, G3 or on the MP5. The charging handle allows you to uh, operate the, the, the bolt in a uh, position where you have the weapon in the shoulder. Um, you grab it to the outside and can cock the weapon like this. And like you were showing me, it's non-reciprocating. Correct. So and you can also use it as a forward assist. Yeah, so the, the uh, charging lever is non-reciprocating. You can place your thumb behind uh, as a thumb rest for, for shooting. And you have the possibility, like on the um, G36, to use it as a forward assist or a rearward assist in case of the case is not uh, probably extracted. You fold it to the side, press it in, and then it sticks in that position and you can use it as an opening assist or to close it. Good deal. Now, side folding buttstock. Yeah. The buttstock can be folded to the right side and you are, like on the G36, you are able to operate, to operate the safety lever also when the buttstock is folded and to fire in case of emergency with a folded buttstock. So I see new for HK adjustable, like a three position adjustable cheek piece. Yeah, that's right. So the cheek piece is adjustable in height. You have three positions, so you have a medium position and the high position to adjust the cheek rest to the height of your uh, main battle side. Now Bjorn, I noticed handling the gun weight wise, it feels like it's in between a G36 and an HK416 in just terms of handling it. Is that correct? That, that's correct. So the, um, the recoil feels much more softer compared to the G36 where you have a, a hard punch or harder punch in the shoulder that needs more um, yeah, training to compare. Hey bro, thanks a million. I appreciate it. Hey, you guys know me. As soon as I get a chance to light one of these up for the Vickers Tactile YouTube channel, I will. I'd be lined over here as soon as I could to check this thing out. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. We got more coming your way from 2018 SHOT Show.